This is Twit. It's time to talk photography with Chris Marquardt, my personal photo sensei at sensei.photo, S-E-N-S-E-A-I dot -E photo. Hello, Chris. Good to see you. Hello. I'm not sure we're going to talk about photography today, though. Image, images instead. Well, images instead. So so um, here's the thing. There's this whole new breed of uh, computer systems um, coming out right now that is, um, well, they, we call them art generators or image generators. Um, the one that's been fairly <laughs> fairly viral so far is, is called DALI. Um, by OpenAI, and those those are systems that you give a prompt, you put some text in, ask it what kind of picture you want, and it spits out the picture. It's for a you, little which... eerie. You've probably seen them on Twitter. If you if you look around, you'll see a lot of Dolly D A L L dash E yes. pictures. Um, they're a little well, eerie, it's, but it's still eerie. cool. It's eerie from from a few perspectives because I mean some of those pictures, especially when you create faces of people, uh, might look a bit weird. But then um, it's also eerie in a way that it is gonna replace, probably going to replace a few people over time because it can do the job of, let's say, it's probably a bit of a threat for stock photography, at least a certain kind of that. Um, so, but still, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun playing with uh, with the system. And uh, it's in beta right now, so it's uh, but it it is accessible. You can uh, create pictures, and you can actually use them now. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, let, let's let's just dive right in. So um, the things that you can do with it are really interesting because it allows you to, I mean, do things that would be hard to photograph. For example, really absurd stuff here. What is this? Uh, I have an example of a, <laughs> it's a steak. It's a steak with a cold grill. So it has ice, icicles <laughs> hanging off of it. Just coming from the so, fire. So you give it a text icicles. prompt and it generates an image based on it. What the text prompt was? A steak uh, the with text a... prompt for this was a, a steak over, over hot coal with icicles hanging off of it. <laughs> And, and it, did it took me a few tries to get to that example, uh, to, to get to the result, but it is hysterical. Uh, this is what came out. Um, it doesn't always really understand what you want. Um, so I tried to make a, a Totoro mugshot, which is which resulted in a whole bunch of different uh, Totoro-shaped mugs. Mugs. So it... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did not really do what I wanted, but um, but look at those materials. Look at those surfaces. That is, well, it looks like they really photo, exist. Course, I mean, yeah. it looks like they really yes. exist, and that's what's a little scary about this because they didn't. They exist then, only in the mind of a the computer. Other, the other thing you can see on this picture is that uh, Dali is really bad with text. So it tried to put Totoro on the mugs on some of them, and it Toroto, Torato, it just doesn't do text well. So that's an easy way to spot some of those. Um, but you can also go artsy, do paintings, do drawings, and these kind of things. Um, this is an example of a, a girl holding an umbrella, standing in front of some cityscape, um, which I'm. I'm I'm happy with that result. Again, yeah. took a couple of tries. You have to iterate. You have to you have to um, reprogram your brain a bit as a as a visual artist. Um, I personally I I like to see what's there and let myself be influenced from that. Now I have to to spell things out. I have to build prompts that are very descriptive uh, and that 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 get me to where I want and it takes iterations. It's not like a typically not a one shot can, thing. Can you modify you an existing and... one? Can you say, okay, that's good, but can you change the the height of the buildings or I mean or do you have to start scratch from scratch each time? Not not even in that detail, but but what you would do is you would create it, it creates four every every time you you put a prompt in, it creates four uh different ones or slightly different ones. And then you end up with a um you could just modify the prompt and say, oh, wait, wait, this didn't come out exactly the way I wanted. So I will uh I will massage the prompt a bit yeah. to uh to try something new. That's the iteration. Sometimes it takes two tries, three tries, five tries, ten tries, um, and so on. So I've seen some amazing things from this though. Yeah. There's a guy who has a Here's new startup who created his logo 
using Dolly. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I would I would totally do this. Um, if you ever wondered what uh, bacon and eggs uh, look like when it came from a from a Michelin star restaurant, this is what <laughs> that's it pretty close. Out. Uh, it's really, this is this looks quite convincing. Um, I asked it to create a magazine cover for a magazine that talks about alien vegetables and <laughs> what you see here it looks like it came from another planet what's in so it's interesting for was, a few reasons i mean you're getting interesting images that are fun to play with yes. and look at but it also kind of is you almost feel like a view into the mind of the computer like uh, oh, how yes, it's yes. how it's interpreting what you're saying it's very right. good i mean these are these are um, fairly you, advanced uh, technologies are using something you, called gan generative uh uh what is it uh Adversarial Ad networks. Ad adversarial networks. So you give That's it different it uh, learning data sets and they fight, <laughs> sort of. What is that? Yeah. That's a burger. Oh my oh, God! That, this that, is that was that was a that was a that was a burger uh, from a from a burger ad uh, set in 1965. And it looks it's got the it 60s colors, the style, right? The orange, it the, nailed the yeah, style. yeah. This next one's uh, um, kind of more nightmarish. Well, nightmarish in a way, but then also I gave it I gave it a, a fantasy kind of name. I called this thing the Twobble Gob, and I asked it to make a Twobble Gob for me. <laughs> That's all you said is Twobble Gob, and it, and it got some. Yes. Wow. Yes, and it got something. It looks so like a Twobble Gob. To, it doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Or the Terminator Tortoise. Oh, there you are. That's very good. Scary. Just imagine that What's out on your What's interesting and puzzling to me is that somehow... It understands when you say Terminator that there is a there are things that looks that come from that movie, and it knows a tortoise. Okay, this is what a tortoise looks like. But somehow yes. it applies the one to the other, and it and it and it works. It kind of it's not just like a, a you know you glue a Terminator arm onto a turtle. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. who's this? This is a person. And well. That's a person. That's a portrait of a person. A very, very uh, artsy, um, stylized kind of black and white thing. Um, took me about half an hour to get the prompt. But this to, person to the never existed. These things. There is no, no this human. Person never existed. This looks like a this. real human with a story. Fascinating. Yes. You'd be this. You'd be happy to have this in your portfolio. This is art. I mean, it does. You you can get it to a point where it does things that I would consider art. It's remarkable. Yes. Also scary. Yeah. Also a bit scary. Yeah. Uh, so, an eye into the mind, if you can call it that, uh, of computers. We're not saying they're sentient. They're not oh, wait, thinking. Oh, wait. I did one I did one of you. A, cu a cubist. I like that. Painting of Leo Laporte. Did you, did you give it a Isn't picture of me at some point? No. No, I didn't. I but didn't. it knew. I asked it knew. for a... I asked for a guy in in front of a microphone. Oh, but it does look like me. A cubist painting. I'm, I'm, I it must be kind of look like the you. prototypical guy in front of a microphone. <laughs> it took me it took me a few tries, and I picked the right one. So that is cherry pick for sure. So you can uh, apply to get to use Dolly, and beware! It's one of those things you start doing it, and hours later you go, "What time is it?" Uh, but you do have to. It's a waiting list. You do have to get in. Just uh, search for D A L L dash E. Creating images from text from openai.com. A 12 billion parameter version of GPT-3 trained to generate images from text descriptions using a data set of text image pairs, which works, I, I'm sure they think, better than they really could have ever imagined. <laughs> and it's and it's not the only one. We, we will see several of these kind of things, competing yeah. things coming out. Yeah. What a world. Yeah. Chris Marquardt, you'll find his work at sensei.photo. Pictures he actually takes, his books, and, of course, his coaching. Sensei.photo. Thank you, Chris.